Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video we are going to talk about how you can create or construct Harry Watt's drill bit in uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. For those of you that don't know what Harry Watt drills bit is, it is a drill that can drill almost a square hole. Now first we will begin with constructing of the handle of a drill bit. So we will take a line and see how can we construct a handle with the cylindrical part. We will revolve this sketch. and get the handle. Now we need to modify the back end of the handle so that anyone can touch back end of the handle. We will create another line here to represent an axis and we will mirror this sketch over here. I'm sorry I had to try this again. Now we will extrude these two drawings. And we will make some fillets here. I will let the radius of these pilots to be 2 millimeters. It seems that it's too big, so we will let the radius be smaller. I have some mistake over here. That I will have to correct. We will also create a fillet here and here to be also two millimeters. Now that we have that, we need to create the drilling part of what chuck, of what drilling bit, or the cutting part that cuts the material into square holes. Now we will create another sketch over here with cylindrical part around 65 millimeters in diameter and we will extrude that part Now we need to make the Relot Triangle. For those of you that don't know what Relot Triangle is, it is a triangle with constant width. That is a triangle that have all sides that are equal linear, linear arcs of the, of the circle. 
It is a concept with curve based of an equilateral, equilateral triangle. Now we are going to try to create this rubber triangle over here. First, we will use the command polygon. Three sides it will be, and I will put here this triangle. Now I will create three circles over here. And I will trim the lines that we do not need. Now when we have the rubber triangle, we will extrude it. Once we extrude this, we will have to construct an axis passing through this cylindrical shape that, is, that we use to create a sketch of the rubber triangle in order to use the command pattern later. Now we'll have to create the cutting edge over here. So the profile of will be, be like this shape over here. We will need to modify this shape somehow. This will be a perfect shape. Now we'll finish the sketch and we'll extrude this to create a perfect cutting, cutting surface or cutting edge. Now when we have that cutting edge, we will simply use the command circular pattern to repeat that cutting edge three times around the axis that we constructed earlier. And this will be the perfect Harry Watts drill bit. I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe to my youtube channel bye people